In this video, I'm going to share you my top five favorite tips you need to know when you're buying a used or refurbished iPhone. That way you're prepared and the chances of you getting scammed are as little as possible. Nice. Apple designer back with another video. Let's talk about used and refurbished iPhones. I think the market for these products is huge and this is partly to do with the fact that Apple's iPhones are from really good quality. Yeah, you have to pay a little bit more for them, but the lifetime value of iPhones is actually huge as you can see in this image the support for ios on iphone models is insane you can get up to seven years of support for the latest versions of ios now let's dive into the video okay so obviously the first thing you need to look at is the complete hardware situation first of all does the iphone turn on properly And also, even more important, you need to check whether the iPhone has an activation lock on it. Normally, you should pretty quickly see that there is a lock on the iPhone, yes or no. After turning on, you should check the camera. If the lenses are working properly, check all the different lenses. Also, make sure to check the microphone and speakers. You can simply do this by taking a video and just talk and record some audio and then just play the video back and listen carefully. Just talk and record some audio. And also important to check is whether the touch screen functions properly. Is everything working as it should? Also with the hardware check, make sure all the iPhone buttons are functioning properly. Whether Face ID or Touch ID work, the up and down volume buttons are working as expected. And also check the ring switcher, whether it's snappy and smooth and not being blocked. And lastly, of course, is to check the charging port and test whether it charges properly. Okay, so the second thing to check is the IMEI number on this iPhone. After we found it, we're gonna put it in on a special website to give us some important additional information. First, we need to get the IMEI number. Go to the phone app and dial star pound zero six pound. Then you'll get this screen. And the IMEI number here in the middle is the one we're looking for. But what we do, we just take a screenshot, zoom in on the IMEI number. Then we make sure to save that to photos. Then we head over to photos and in photos, we simply can copy this number with the live text feature. Then we go to Safari and go to this website called iunlocker.com. In here, we tap the burger menu in the top right and we click on check IMEI. And then we scroll down and we go to this section and in here, make sure to paste our copied IMEI number. If you prefer, you can also paste your serial number in here. Hit check. As you can see, it might take a little while for this to load. All right, so yeah, we're done loading and now you can see all this information that's really useful. Especially the things that are useful are the estimated purchase date, Country of purchase is also really important as you can see here that's Europe and yeah of course lastly whether this iPhone still has Apple Care yes or no. So the third thing to check is whether this iPhone has had hardware replacements in the past. First of all you need to make sure that the iPhone is running iOS 15.2. So now what you should do is head over to settings then go to general and then go to about. In this section you should see whether this iPhone has had replacement parts also whether these parts are genuine or fake. I'm show you how this looks right now. If you see something like this and you see that there are no genuine Apple parts, that's really something you need to consider when you're buying a used iPhone. The fourth thing to check is the iPhone's battery health and we can really easily do this by going to settings. In settings we scroll down to battery and in here we can see the iPhone's battery health. Click on battery health and as you can see this iPhone has around 89% which is okay. Normally I recommend that if the iPhone's maximum capacity is below 80% I don't recommend you to buy it or take this into account and expect a battery replacement to be needed. If the iPhone you're interested to buy has around a 90 to 95 maximum capacity, you should be good. And the fifth and final tip I have, and not many people actually check for this, is whether the iPhone has had water damage. To check this, we actually need to get access to the SIM tray. So yeah, make sure to have a SIM eject to with you when you're buying somewhere else. Open up the SIM tray and there we go, get it out. 
how you can check whether an iPhone has had water damage is to peek inside. And if you see a red dot somewhere in here, I'll also show you how that looks like when an iPhone has had water damage right now. You have a water indicator in here. Yeah, if that's the case, I really recommend you to not buy this iPhone. It's just too risky. So yeah, right now in the moment, you might not experience any problems. I can assure you that in the future, you will face issues. So yeah, these are my five tips when you're buying a used or refurbished iPhone. I hope this was helpful. So yeah, make sure to subscribe and like this video and see you in the next one. Peace.